Okay, so I erased the last video that I made with the booger. Um, I ended up not trading it, the trade fell through, but I did more research on these, and there was other guns made. This is a Mitchell Stoger Luger, it's actually a Mitchell marked. You see right there, it was made by Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell went in collaboration with Stoger. These are made in Texas. They are made in the 1990s, from 1990 to 1994. This is the second year of production in 1991. They also call them the American Luger. Not the Amer not the 45 Luger, obviously, but... Yeah. See a nice big American Eagle right there, if I can focus. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Um, did more research on them. Turns out these ones, the Mitchells, are actually worth a lot, and very rare. Um, I ended up selling this to my friend uh, today. Um, he's going to be uh, paying me in a, about a couple weeks or so. But yeah, uh, I decided to make a video on it um, because I don't see many videos of these guns online. There's not much to be found online. I had to do a lot of digging to find the all the information buried. I've seen maybe one or two of these go on auction and they go for a pretty hefty price and I sold it to my friend for a pretty hefty price too but yeah they're pretty they're they're made in the 90s they're made what they did was um they uh vacuum for formed Luger parts from original Lugers there's nothing in there and um they made these two exact specifications of the original German Lugers they are fantastic guns, but they have, they do have the same problems that Lugers do, because they were very complicated weapons. Um, they're very fascinating. They're rare. Not a lot of collectors want them, uh, but they are very rare and very cool. They do fire 9mm, and they take any standard uh, Luger mag. But yeah, these are all cast parts, and let's see if I can take it apart here and keep this camera hold on. Just a second. All right. So I got it apart there, and it comes apart the same as any any old loser. It's got the detachable trigger trigger right there. Um, yeah, if you look inside, it's all internally the same thing too. They really made these to exact specifications of the original Lugers, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, these guns are pretty difficult to find. I've only ever seen one. Uh, the Stogers are not. The Stogers are more common, and a lot of more in 22 long rifle. Um, the Mitchells are the more complicated, or more um, harder ones to find. Um, yeah, there's not much else I can tell you about these guns. There's not much to them. Except that they made the same specifications as Luger's. Um, they're made by Mitchell. They're made in Texas. Made in the 90s. They sold new for about 500 to 600 dollars, depending on where you found them. In some places, 800. Um, but yeah, now the Mitchells are actually going for a pretty high price. The Stogers aren't because there was more of them produced. And what's cool about Luger's, even these, is I'm not sure if that'll catch them on camera, but. It, I'm not sure if that, if that caught on camera, but they ring like tuning forks. They're so finely tuned. And, um, <clears throat> show you something else that's cool about Luger's. Well, cool, but kind of unsafe. And kind of funny about them. Oops. That's pinned back in there. What's cool is, even when, this, when the barrel is off the gun, press C here. You can fire the gun. <laughs> if it had a round in the chamber, you could fire it when it's off the gun. It's not exactly the smartest or the safest thing to do, but yeah, just kind of funny and kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's all I can pretty much tell you about these. Um, but yeah, I just decided to make a video because I have seen maybe one on YouTube of these things firing, but none of people doing actual reviews on them or talking about them. They are very cool, they are interesting, um, it, so like to answer anyone's questions if they've ever made any reproduction Lugers, yes they did. Um, they didn't sell very well, 
because I guess people didn't really want them at the time. Um, they're not bad guns, they're pretty good, they're decent shooters, they, they just feel fantastic in your hand, and because of their polished steel, they're just absolutely beautiful guns. Yeah, I, I sold it to my friend, and now it's going to go to a great home. Um, he's going to get more use out of it, and I'm going to use the money to buy a car. Um, yeah, that should just tell you how much I sold it for. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. This is Mr. Mars, signing up.